All right, let's read the directions to together. Like dissolves like. Polar molecules dissolve other polar molecules and ionic compounds. Okay, so water is polar. And we're going to decide if these items on the left are going to dissolve in polar water. So, according to the directions, polar will dissolve other polar and ionic. So, will water dissolve this ionic salt? Yes. So, we would put a check mark there. Will it dissolve this nonpolar iodine? No, it won't. And then we'll talk about alcohols in a minute. So, put check marks down the column of the ones that will dissolve in water. Let's go to our next column. We've got nonpolar carbon tetrachloride. According to the directions, nonpolar molecules dissolve other nonpolar, and that's it. So will this carbon tetrachloride dissolve this ionic salt? No, it will not. So no check mark, but will it dissolve this nonpolar iodine? Yes, check mark. Okay, let's go to alcohols. That's our last column over here on the right. And it says that alcohols, which have characteristics of both, meaning both polar and nonpolar, will dissolve both types of solvents, but will not dissolve ionic solids. Okay, so alcohol and ionic sodium chloride, no, no check mark. Alcohol and nonpolar, yes, check mark. Ethanol, which is a type of alcohol, alcohol will dissolve in alcohol, yes. Okay, check mark. So, and again, back over here, will this polar water and alcohol dissolve in each other? Yes, because alcohols have properties of both polar and nonpolar, so it is able to dissolve in all of the different solvents we have listed here. 